Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Hearts of Iron 4, World War, uh, Germany war, wins World War II campaign. So I've realized the reason why France keeps on getting air superiority, and that's because I'm doing close air support, not, um... I'm not doing anything else in the Ile de France. I need to be doing air superiority here. So we need to find fighters. Fighters. I wish you could filter by fighter type, can you? Air bases. Enemy carriers, carriers, rocket sites, allied bases. Uh, we have 267 some things available. Do we have any fighters? Interwar fighters, sure. Air superiority. That's what they keep on doing. They keep on... Now we have 82% air superiority in this location. Toad rocket artillery. Don't know if we're going to actually build any of that. Um, I think I, I kind of want to focus on, like, tanks. Tanks and planes right now. Heavy fighters, no. Grief. Strategic bomber. That would allow us to reach pretty far into London. Into, into Great Britain. Naval bomber I'm not that interested in. How are we doing on land doctrine? I think we've already maxed this out, right? Getting close. Regular artillery we've looked at. Armor. We work on the Panther. We have a 50% bonus. More defense. More breakthrough. More soft attack. Same hardness, more heart attack, more harm, more armor, better piercing, higher production cost, more movement speed. It's just better in every way. Tiger, on the other hand, is slow, six kph, hundred and ten armor. Wow, that, that's one damn heavily armored thing. Does a German heavy tank developed in 1942 as an answer to the unexpectedly impressive Soviet armor encountered in the initial months of the Axis invasion of the Soviet Union, particularly the T-34 and the KV-1? Interesting. The Leopard. In order to increase cross-country performance, it was fitted with 350mm wide tracks, so it's a very fast tank. The Leopard's a fast tank. Interesting. Well, I kind of like the way that the, the Panzer's working for us. I wouldn't mind just getting a better version of it, so we'll work on that. It'll take a while, but it's fine. Down here, we should be seeing quite a bit of advancement. We should also check on air superiority. We've got all these airplanes deployed up here. Uh, we should select all. And just rebase to... Alright, F3. Is the Middle East like an entire zone? Yes, it is. We're still in the Middle East, but there's very little going on here, so... I want all of these airplanes. To go to the Middle East. And then rebase. And I have no idea if that did what I... What I wanted it to do. U-boat effort is done. Great. Sure. That one. There are still airplanes here. Why are there so many airplanes here? I said select all. I selected them all. And I said go to the Middle East. Plus their support is only at 43%. I want more. You guys are just standing by. No, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do air superiority and close air support. In the Middle East. Mission efficiency should go up a lot. Even though there's too many airplanes here.
Is this, is this seriously saying we have 1,357 airplanes and we can't somehow get close air support in the Middle East? Like at 39% efficiency, really? Why is it so bad? Active support planes. Lacking range to cover area. The airbase is overcrowded. Okay, so they can't cover the range. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. That's why. It's not that we don't have enough. It's just that they can't... They have shit range. Crap. You were supposed to have a plan. Let's wait a little tiny bit until we enact the plan. We plan very quickly, so we might as well. Missing equipment production, still. So we've taken some losses on the grill, and that's what's happening. Okay, so I think what we want to do is, again, continue to rebase these planes. Close air support. You should really not be 439. You should be like 400 exactly. And then we should be able to take the 400 to this air base here. Do we have any other air bases nearby? Not that I'm seeing. We could fit more here. Let's get rid of these 88 fighters, they're stupid. Grab these, these guys can get a little tiny bit closer, maybe. And now what we want to do is we want to grab these two to this area. I think I'm starting to get it. Like, close air support, 18%. And I'm guessing that the reason why, again, is going to be lacking range to cover the area. We need, you know what we need to do? We need to go into our production interface. And the closer support, we need to, we need to create a variant of the, the Ju, the Ju-87G. We've got a little bit of air experience. We need more range. 500 range. Huge penalty to reliability. We just offset that. So we just get extra 300 K KPM range. More agility would also be good, but we can't we can't afford that. And then we need to change over our production lines to instead of making those ones, we want to make the upgraded ones. Yet again, a production cap efficiency penalty. Oh well. We need more range on these damn things, because otherwise they're they're struggling. Okay, it's time for Mr. Rommel. Who seems to be doing okay. To advance into Africa. Sounds good. Go. We have free civilian factories, are you kidding? Look at that. We have 163. And they're not being used. What do we build? We build military factories, obviously. Everywhere. Actually, no, that's not true. We build radars. Like, everywhere. To start with. But eventually we're going to want to build more military factories. But for now, let's let's get some radars all over the place. Uh, did I tell you to enact the plan? I think I did. What do we got here? The Suez Canal. Due to war of the controller, allies... Permission type contested. Permission type enemy. Armies can pass. No. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can pass. I, I don't think you can tell me no. I want the Panzer Divisions that have experience. I, I don't understand why I can't organize these by, by experience. It annoys the crap out of me. I feel like it should organize by experience by default. I mean, these guys are all the most experienced, even though they're not tanks, but we want the breakthrough from the Panzers, so... Combat width of 20 is ideal, so let's just take you, 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 and one of you guys for some organization. That's our... should be our 80 combat width, and then we'll add in one more from down here. One of you guys, preferably... I guess the grill. Like that, and hopefully I've done the math right. Combat width is 120. Okay, I don't understand why. I thought it was 80 plus the number of places you're attacking from. So does that mean that it's 80 plus an automatic 20 because you're attacking from one location, so it's always 100? Maybe. In that case, these guys here who are still left, why don't we just grab some more infantry? And just throw them at it too. Quite a bit of a bit of British presence here. I think it's time to pull you off your order and get you down here on this border. With orders to advance just, you know, somewhere down there. Get entrenched, defend the line, we'll push with the Panzers. Cancel your order for now. There is resistance. much, though. I'm assuming that that overrun was good, it was not bad. And we are fast, so we'd like to try to encircle these guys. Okay, resistance to occupation is F6. Got some here. Resistance is futile. And... 6. Hate how it centers over there. I am guarding these areas. Just don't have enough men... Looks like to garrison the whole area. Maybe once the resistance comes down, we should, like, bring it back a little bit? Dial it back? He's got 57 troops. Do you have any of the cav yet? Any of the actual military cav? None of the resistance is futile is being built. Cool. Because we completely lack infantry equipment. Problem is that we need 242,000 infantry equipment. Nice. So you're saying it's gonna be a little while. How come it says here 41,000, but then in the other screen it says we need 240-some thousand? Oh wait, no, 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 I understand this now. We have 57,000 already. No, no, I don't understand it at all. Nope, don't understand it at all. We're not making any calf. Wish they'd stop rebasing. Like... They have no morale. They have no organization when they do this.
Seems to be like a sandstorm or something. Air detection, air accidents chance. Ugh. Okay, so perhaps we shouldn't run missions? Is there an easy way to cancel missions? I guess that would be it, right? Two my motorized versus theirs. Um, I think we take this fight, even though it might be a little bit expensive, because I want to encircle all of this. They're getting so low on organization that we can really crush them. Nice. At a time penalty, don't care. Now, are you getting the, the encircled penalty? No, you're not. Because technically you're not truly encircled. Like, you are, but you're not. So, we want to cut you right through the middle. I think we want to take, like, you and you guys. Cut that army. And now you are truly encircled. And you guys can go to there. Which makes you encircled. Okay, um... See, they're still trying to rebase. Yeah, I'm aware. I don't want them flying during this crazy ass thing that we've got going. I feel like strategic redeployment is off, and yet they still do it anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like strategic redeployment's not working as intended. I don't care, we're not, we're not gonna replace the grill. These are just regular infantry, so we should be able to overrun them. Just run them down. And circle this infantry real quick. Slowly but surely going to take over all of Africa.
Do we just not do these anymore? Like, we've already done war with Greece. We've already done a lot of this stuff. Sure. Let's let Russia know that we don't like them. Because that's clearly the goal of this campaign, is to piss off Russia. I'm kind of just like manually controlling all of this right now, but... But why not, right? Seems to be working out just fine. If we go down to here, we can encircle that. Is it that it's like you see the both or none? I'm, I'm trying to just send one at a time. Circled, low supply, everything about you is bad, that means that we win. These guys are suffering attrition, we don't even need to fight them, they just have low supply. It's trying to redeploy in a, in a way that I don't really want them to. I want to keep on advancing these lines. But for now, uh, we gotta take a break here. And I will look forward to seeing you again in the next episode, so thank you as always for watching. And I will see you... in the next episode. Thanks for watching everyone, see you in a bit. See you soon.